Credit Suisse, the second biggest Swiss bank, announcing earnings, saying it is ramping up its cost cuts. This is the big story by a billion dollars. Bloomberg Television got to speak with the CEO about these cost cuts. Listen. Really, a lot of it comes from just being more efficient across the business. Uh, we have, initially, we took more of the costs out of the front office side of the business. We're now actually uh, shifting to look at more efficiencies that we can get across the infrastructure or the shared services parts of the business. So you'll see that's a bigger part of the uh, ongoing cost reductions than it was uh, in the first part. This tells the story of the bank's cutting costs and really Credit Suisse in particular trying to buffer its capital, I, try to raise all the capital to meet the Basel III requirements. I'm not qualified to know if he's executive of the year, but I think he is. Credit well, Suisse got well, they're way coming off front. of a rough quarter, 63% drop in profit, though partly tied to an accounting. He was way this out front. It's all for. part of the bank deleveraging story, which fits in perfectly with my morning must read. It's by the author of Extreme Money and Traders, Satyajit Das. And he has a pretty simple thesis, which is that debt kills growth. There's too much of it, and everyone's trying to delever at the same time. So how do we fix it? He writes in the FT, the easiest way to kickstart growth is to write off debt, removing this burden. But this would result in losses to lenders and investors, reducing wealth, thereby limiting consumption, investment, and ultimately growth. So it's a catch-22 with no real solution, but time and perhaps long-term pain.